Three, two, one. This is merely the start. The project strives for complete acceptance of Web3 and has already made 3x in anticipation of the impending bull market. Will the bakers let private investors to earn? And what awaits us sooner, Multiverse X at $500 or more or $15? So let's figure it out all today. Don't forget to hit a like to the video, subscribe to the channel as we delve deeper into the narrative. So today we will be talking about Multiverse X, previously Elrond. Multiverse is a blockchain that utilizes sharding technology to increase scalability. And this sharding approach was once praised by the Ethereum creator Vitalik Buterin, who also plans to implement sharding on Ethereum in order to scale it by 10,000 times. So the Elrond design emphasizes security and resilience against attacks like Sibyl attacks. Elrond was founded in late 2017 and aimed to solve blockchain scalability issues. And in June 2019, the startup held a private funding round, raising 1.9 million from investors like Binance Labs, Electric Capital, NGC Ventures, and others. And then in November 2022, at the X Day conference, which was held at the former French stock exchange in Paris, Elrond announced a rebranding. So it has been renamed to Multiverse X. This rebranding happened because the company is expanding its product offerings for Web3 and the Metaverse. So the Multiverse X CEO and founder Benjamin Minku said that the incredible amount of creative energy is being channeled into many exciting visions for the Metaverse. So Multiverse X is creating a cooperative framework and modular toolkit to build a blockchain-based Metaverse. The project has its own virtual machine that facilitates the creation of various protocols and dApps. Through sharding, Multiverse X can process over 12,500 transactions per second. And with this in mind, users won't have to pay the exorbitant fees like on Ethereum. Also, smart contract developers have the opportunity to receive a 30% royalty on transfer fees. The former Elrond and now Multiverse X has a native coin, EGLD, whose ticker can be translated as electronic gold. So EGLD promotes development and acts as a governance token. During the peak of the 2021 bull market, the value of the coin reached $500. The growth to such highs brought nearly 100x returns to investors who purchased Elrond at $6. However, the bear market spared no one, and the token ended up correcting 95% in price to $23. It has been a wild ride. And to understand if we can expect further growth, let's examine the current situation. And in the meantime, guys, I'd like to ask you to like the video if you enjoy it and to subscribe to the channel so it will motivate me to make more quality videos. So thank you and let's move on. Together with Bitcoin's recent bump, Multiverse's price also decided to keep up with the market. So since October last year, the token has grown by three times. And looking at the blockchain explorer, I was pleasantly surprised. Unlike many other technologies that try to be meaningful, Elrond is actually in demand. And if you check the faucet yourself, you can see the transactions are made not just hourly, but every second. Moreover, you can see that out of 26.5 millions of coins in circulation, over 66% are being staked. And taking this into account, we can understand why TVL collapsed by 10 times. First, it's not because users rushed to withdraw their tokens. It's because the price collapsed due to the bear market. And as soon as it started to rise, Elrond's TVL did it too. The developer activity on the Elrond blockchain started at around 50 million in July 2023. It then increased and reached almost 200 million by now. The developer outflows have been negligible, much lower compared to other blockchains at present. The number of developers actively involved on a regular basis is around 60. The peak activity period was not at the end of last year, but rather in March 2023. The estimated number of full-time developers was around 90. To be honest, I didn't expect that a relatively inconspicuous and slow-growing blockchain like Elrond would turn out to be so competitive. Despite its quiet nature, Elrond has a massive ecosystem of various startup tools, uh, major validators, and more. The ecosystem also consists of centralized exchanges, NFT marketplaces, oracles, payment systems, metaverses, DeFi projects, wallets, and more. So the year 2023 was not without major exchange listings and partnerships for Elrond. For instance, the EGLD token became available for trading on Upbit, 
a leading South Korean exchange. In mid-October, Elrond partnered with Google Cloud. And by the end of October, the blockchain was ranked number 8 in terms of developer activity. And not long after Multiverse X started a partnership with Amazon Web Services, the price of EGLD token began to rapidly increase. There is no need to guess anymore why the price pumped and what led to such a quick triple in price for EGLD. So let's look at what we can expect from Elrond over the next 3 months and what peak price the token could reach during the next bull run. Don't forget to hit a like to this video and share your thoughts in the comments about the future price. By the way guys, a short advertisement, uh, please do not skip, maybe you'll find it useful. I'm personally using Tangem Wallet for holding uh, any crypto in general. It is a self-custodial hardware wallet that gives you absolute control of your private keys. It has been audited by Kudelsky Security, an independent Swiss audit company. The chip has the highest certification level EAL6+, which guarantees the high level of security of your assets. You can find the report on the official Tangem's uh, website, everything is transparent. And unlike other wallets, Tangem comes with three cards, and what I personally like is that it is shaped like a card, uh, looks like a traditional bank credit card, and it can fit anywhere, it can be taken anywhere, and these cards are used for generating and storing your private keys instead of a recovery seat phrase. The wallet supports over 6,000 different crypto assets across uh, 37 networks. You can also access decentralized applications and through the secure Wallet Connect protocol, the mobile app also allows you to trade on exchanges, buy NFTs and stake your assets. It is absolutely easy to set up and easy to use. And for the pack of three Tangem cards, one wallet. I really do recommend you to have three because it has a higher level of security. It will cost you around $70. Uh, this makes it one of the most affordable hardware wallets when compared to options like Trezor models, for example, Ledger or others. And if you use promo code all for men you will get additional 10% discount. So please go ahead and explore the website for yourselves. Uh, if you're looking for a good quality wallet to store your crypto, I do suggest Tangem. Uh, the link you can find in the description. Thank you for watching and let's continue. And now we'll take a deeper look at the price outlook for the Multiverse X cryptocurrency. Just to be clear guys, this is not a financial advice, but rather my personal opinion based on analyzing the chart. So looking at EGLD, we can see how the asset was able to hold support above an important resistance zone. If it can consolidate above this zone on the weekly time frame, I would consider a conservative scenario where a token could reach $130 to $200 in the near term. Additionally, I see $130 to $205 range as the end point where it would make sense to take profits by parts. After that, the first stop for a correction would be around $120. Falling below that level would open the way to $50. You need to assess where the price could go. It will either drop to $30 and instantly bounce back, signaling a new uptrend forming, or the downtrend will continue and Elrond will bottom out around $15. This level appears to be attractive for a new position, but it is crucial to monitor the reaction of the major buyer and crypto market trends in order for Multiverse X to remain relevant. According to the AI Bard from Google, some analysts anticipate a bull run in the middle of 2024 while others are confident it may not begin until 2025 or even later. So breaking the current high should be the primary objective. I believe that if Elrond token stabilizes above the peak of $560, there is a good chance for the asset to reach a price of $1,000, resulting from 900-1600% to of growth over the next 6-12 to 12 months. So that was it from my side guys, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful by providing new insights, please show your appreciation by liking and commenting. Your feedback makes me feel good and motivates me to create more videos. And if this is your first time visiting my channel and you found the content interesting, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on more great stuff. Also check out my telegram channel where I chat with others about current events and share my opinions on the latest news. The link is in the description so feel free to join. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.